It's Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. It's a flight fight. It's a turkey. Happy Turkey Day. It's a it's a feast of turkey. Wild Turkey Day, whatever the uh what's the phrase? Oh, Wild Turkey Wednesday, Wild but turkey it's not Wednesday. Wednesday. It's not Wednesday, but you know, hopefully no. you enjoyed it or are enjoying it. I don't know. I, time it, is irrelevant. Tis the season for turkey, <laughs> I think is what Chad means to say. Yeah. Now, Sarah, we based this flight around the Wild Turkey 101 eight year, and the ones we picked to go in here go along with that. So we mm -hmm. have a reasoning for each of them, but let's just go ahead and get into it. Sarah, what's in this flight? In this flight, we have the tried and true Wild Turkey 101. New to this year, we have the Wild Turkey 70th anniversary eight year 101 proof, the Russell's Reserve 10 year at 90 proof, and a Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit single barrel at 101 proof. So there's something missing from this flight. What is it, Chad? <laughs> Rare breed. Let's call. Let's go ahead and call yeah, that out. I hear it. So I kind of feel like whatever wins this one, it's going to have to go up against Rare Breed and maybe a uh, drink this or that that we might not be able to get to because of scheduling until 2025. Yeah. But uh, the reason we, we were between the Russell's 10 year 90 proof and the uh, Rare Breed, and ultimately when you break it down, everything in this flight except that fourth spot is at 101 proof. Mm -hmm. So either we go down 11 points or we go up about 15, Over, 16. Yeah, so it felt right to go to the Russell's 10. Yeah. Especially when we have the Wild Turkey 8 year in that, that also has the age statement, so right? two age statements. And yeah. then, you know, we know the Kentucky Spirit is around that 8 well, year, 9 year mark correct. as well. I guess technically it would be age stated, but it'll vary based it'll vary. on your single barrel. Right. So that felt a little bit more, they felt more like even contenders versus the rare breed, I think. Might have the advantage of proof, might have a slight disadvantage in terms of the, you know, it might skew a little younger. I don't know. Um, but like you said, we should put the winner up against Rare Breed just to see how it fares. Yeah, and the whole thing with Rare Breed is, you know, they say what, it's something like six, 10, 12 year, seven, eight, 12 years, somewhere in that mixture of age barrels that they put in there. But there mm -hmm. is no age statement and there is no percentage of what right. those. So, so we don't know. It could skew young, it could skew old. Who knows? Who knows? But let's get into it with Bourbon A. Yummy. I love turkey. Smells like turkey time. Yeah, just that classic wild turkey, you know, spice, caramel, vanilla. Yeah. I know that's very vague to Ca you there. Well, yeah. Baking spice, you know. Caramel is the, uh, the headline, I feel like, on this one, and vanilla. The typical. Yeah, I, I feel like it's really the baking spice. I can Whoop. see that. <laughs> it sloshed and it got me. At least it wasn't in my eyeball. To your health. Classic. That's the headline. Very classic. Mm. You know, decent mouthfeel. Oh, a good amount of berries, actually. Yeah. Medium-ish, medium finish, which is exactly what I would expect for these proofs. Mm -hmm. Spice coming through on the finish as well. Yep. Easy. Kind of delightful. A pretty instant Kentucky hug. Mm-hmm. And knowing that our highest proof in here is 101, that's it feels that's a good statement. Very approachable, very gentle. Yeah. Mm. Towards the finish, you do get a little bit of there's some heat. Yeah. I mean, you know, fire, but fire, it's fire, also speak. first tip of the day, and this is bourbon A, so we will give it a fair chance and come back to it. But I, I'm happy so far. Well, this one has a hint of like an herbal quality to it that the first one did not have. Right. I was gonna say it's more muted, but yeah, that's because it does sort of have more of the herbal and not so much of that uh, baking spice. Yeah, not so much baking spice, a little bit more herbal earthy. A little lemon Still lemon sweet, tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this definitely has more of a tea note going on. Different animal, still a turkey. Too old. Huh. Very different. Wow. Some lemon on the palate too. Definitely more Again, I mean, to repeat the notes from notes, but herbal, earthy, a little bit of um, like effervescence. It's kind of outdoorsy, pine trees, maybe more pepper. Earthier. Yeah, more pepper than baking spice. Huh, it feels more rye heavy. It does, and I can't tell yet, uh, I'm gonna get the second sip, but it, it feels like it might be maybe a little more perception of age. Like it's just more, know. a little bit more dried oak. I mean, it's definitely giving more outdoorsy. I'm getting sure. like collecting sticks for um, to build a fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Yeah. Second step, I definitely say there is more oak. There is more. Yeah. And there's a hint of mint. Wood on this. It's that, definitely more uh, rye for it. Yeah, I think. I agree with that. Back to more of a classic. Yeah, I, I think. Say it's... Nose on C, but it does have something slightly different. It's more comparable to the nose on A, but not as maybe rye heavy. 
Yeah, it's not as baking spice heavy. It's a little bit more musty and honestly like a hint of cherry. Uh -huh. It almost has a vintage funk to it, but it does. It doesn't. But it it wants to. It wants to. It wants. To it aspires to be. Yeah. Don't worry, little guy. One day. If only they hadn't pulled you out of the barrel. Okay. Dryer. Medicinal cherry. A little bit on that one. Makes my tongue go. <laughs> like a little bit. Yeah. Um. I mean, I'm not saying it tastes like medicine, but it is more medicinal cherry. I think that is again like the rye coming through in this way like in the first one it was baking spice and the second one it was that like earthy minty outdoorsy and this one i think i'm getting more like medicinal cherry yeah i think overall it just has sort of some uh a little sharper edges it's not quite as refined or polished mm. as the other ones we've been having so far yeah i mean i like it it's good if we if this had been a i don't think we will, would have been as harsh to it of course we could maybe say that about a when we go back. And maybe. We're not really being, I need to compare it. Not yeah. really being harsh, but I'm just saying maybe don't. Ooh, building heat on the finish. It does have a building uh, heat. Maybe I don't prefer it as much as A or B so far. All right, going into Bourbon D, and depending on this one, tastes like I don't know if I could pick out a 90 proofer yet. I'm not sure yet either. Oh, richer nose. <sighs> See, I'm getting more muted, but. Oh, I'm getting more stone fruit on this one. A little bit, yeah. Definitely get like a jammy note. Mm hmm. A little bit of honey. Hmm. Classic in its own right, too. Some of those jammy notes come through on the palate with, a, again, some baking spice, some cinnamon and clove. It feels delicate, but there is a perception of age. I do think there is oak coming through along with those berry notes and the baking spice as well. Yeah. It feels soft, but rich, kind of like you said, and yet also delicate. Right. <laughs> so I would venture to guess that this one had more age to it. Um, and maybe a little lower proof because I'm not getting, and it's harder after three it is bourbons hard, before yeah. it, but comparatively, I'm not, you know, some of these were like, whoo, you know, it's got, got some uh, perception of proof, a little bit of heat. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like this one is a little easier. This might be the 90 proofer. Who Watch knows? me be wrong. I don't know. Sarah, you know what I like to do right now? Take a break and tell us about our home on the internet at whiskeyambitions.com. <laughs> yeah, wow. Is that what right. it is? It is. And hey, look at this. Did you notice that we've been using these Ooh, today, Sarah? Uh, look, so I far? can move. Yeah. About. Oh, fly, fly to go. Watch out. <laughs> yeah, these are our new uh, Stave Glen Karen holders that has <laughs> come back, that has uh, our logo um, etched into it. These are actual uh, barrel heads that have come from bourbon barrels. And, uh, Is that where they come from? Yeah, that's where they're I made. I never knew. Well, a stork comes. Did you know the pickles are made from cucumbers? Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> uh, but this is new for the holidays, as well as, of course, uh, the uh, hoodie, also available in a sweatshirt version. The zip hoodie, because it is getting colder out there. Um, all of our glassware, bottle cut candles, elemental elixir, cocktail syrup, and more that's always coming soon. Where, Sarah? At whiskeyambitions.com. You know it. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbonite. Join our community for as little as one buck a month and we do love our patrons they get first access to our barrel picks uh we actually have two wild turkey barrel picks coming out very soon <laughs> we do. uh and Synergy. so they will be the first ones to get a crack at that one of them was a very low yield so i it will not make it outside of patreon probably uh, both won't probably both won't but you never know um let's see what else do they get they get discounts on the merch we were just talking about access to after the episode exclusives and more there we go yeah i think our last two wild turkey uh oh yeah they reserves did not did make not it. make it all the way through they didn't even make it all the way through Patreon. All the way through Patreon, so yeah. yeah. Some some do and some do. If you're interested in the ones that did make it through, uh, go to our website, whiskeyambitions.com under mm -hmm. Get to Know Us. We You will find our barrel pick program ah, that's page. that's true. All right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna let our palate reset, get back to room temperature, as we like to say. So we're gonna take a little break, and we'll be right back after this. All right, we're back for round two. I got a little hot, I had to unzip. It's like a... You know, at the holidays when you do like round one, your dinner, and then round two is like your turkey sandwich at later in the day mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. This is leftovers. Not really. <laughs> yeah. Think about it that way. Think I don't about know. it that way. Still that classic caramel, yeah. vanilla, baking spice nose. I, don't I mean, wanna... I would guess this is like turkey 101. This feels very much just like... A turkey 101, but which one? Oh, true. Um, <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question. This definitely feels like quintessential... That flagship brand. I don't want to jump the gun, but I. Uh, this may change as we go through round two, but I might say this is my favorite nose. I don't know if it's I can venture to say that. It's good. All right. Mmm. So classic. It is. I will say there is this 
slightly, it, evap it feels like it evaporates off the tongue quickly, a little bit dry on the finish. Like I just feel like it just goes and it just poof, there it went. Uh, I don't think the finish is as long. Well, I kind of felt that with one of these down here too. Well, I'm anxious to see if that still carries on. Yeah. I see what you're saying. I do think though, there's a richness, uh, a silkiness, a good mouthfeel is what I'm getting at. Yeah, it's um, decent. To this one, which is a little counterintuitive to the to the dry, but you know, sometimes it happens that way. It's a two-step process, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And of course, results may vary, but uh, I'm gonna get one more sip on my palate here, just to give it a fair shake. It's good. Oh, definitely still getting that herbal, earthy, tea, outdoorsy. Yeah, like fresh chopped wood or something. I do spend a lot of time around Ch lumberjacks, so I would know. Chopping the wood. Oh yeah, this was the sort of the lemon tea one, I believe. Mm, yeah. Lemon tea, outdoorsy. More citrus. Hint of mint. More. Those lemon zest, yeah. Brightness on this one. Oak, a lot of oak. Yeah, I do feel like maybe this is the eight or the, t nah, I don't think it's a 10 year. If I had to guess just on specs alone, Reason would say this is Wild Turkey 101 eight year. I don't know. But. It could also be the Kentucky spirit. Yeah, yeah, it really could. Yeah, I, I like know. it's a older 101 proof. <laughs> oh, wow. That really <laughs> narrows it down. Mm. Still that hint of a medicinal note for me. It's become a little bit more desserty. I feel like, this time. I still get cherry. Flambe? I don't know. Dessert cherry? When was the last time you had cherry flambe? Oh, just, just, just this morning. Mm. Flambe, flambe, sum up. That's what I said. Oh, you're drinking. I am. I think I stayed on the nose because it's a good nose. Dry oak. Herbal cherry. Thinner. Hmm. Huh? I don't know. It deserves a second sip then. I think if you like super oaky and you like cherry, this would be up your alley, whatever it may be. If you watch the channel, you know I don't love a whole lot of oak or like when it comes across as really dry, like intense oak. And then I also don't love cherry because I do find that it goes medicinal more often than not. Now, if it's cherry and berry and other, you know, stone fruit and stuff, I'm good with that. But just cherry with that oak and herbal, for me, that goes medicine. There's a train coming. Um, it's hot. It's hot to go it's a bit on, hot. on the end. It's H-O-T-T-O-G-O. -O. Mm -hmm. And I definitely get that dryness. I'm loving the oak part of it, but it is dry and it's a little dry hot, which isn't a good combination for me. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I like it, but it's the flight fight effect. Like mm -hmm. if I was drinking just a glass of this, I feel I'm like sure I'd be, be happy with it. different things, but it's a little, yeah. Hmm. It's a little, yeah. This one's just so pleasant. I like this it's nose. It's so balanced. I like this yeah. nose maybe, hold on, A. Hmm, yeah, this one competes with A. I think that it's the softest of all of them on the nose. Like it's the most, at first I said, I think it was muted, I think on the first round. I think it just because coming off of these other three, which are so much more like in your face, this one's just soft and gentle. I don't know. I but like it. I feel like this one is efficient. Yeah. Light, approachable, easy drinker, mm, yeah. well balanced. I feel like this one is sort of an amalgamation of A, B, and C. It's got it's sort got of a little bit of everything. the citrus of B. It's got the classic notes of A. Mm -hmm. It's got the age of C. Yeah. Uh, it's just, a, it feels It's really well softer, yeah, than rounded. Than and mm -hmm. I'm. I know we don't try to talk about this, but I'm just going to share with the group that I feel like it's a Russell's 10, but man, am I really loving it. And there's a part of me being like, but Chad, this is the 90 proof or so you're drinking cares? some 101. It's an internal struggle. We try <laughs> not to deal with it in flight fights because we we're try not to pick. And also it could be very, very wrong. This could, could be, be a very subtle uh, Kentucky spirit pick. Totally. Who knows? Not us. We're going to find out soon. Yeah. And that's that's where it comes down to. That's where we're at right now. This is the part where we leave you guys. We start A, B testing things that are back to back. So we didn't have A and C back to back. We'll do that. You know, we're going to find characteristics that we need to pair up and we'll do that. Now, what Patreon gets is they get to see this A, B uh, testing part. The process. They get a little bit more of how the sausage is made and a mm. little bit more of our ramblings and pop culture re references. So. I don't want to know how sausage is made. <laughs> yeah, I, I suggest you don't Google that. Uh, so we'll leave you guys right now and we'll be back for results time. All right, welcome to results time. We have our order. Um, if you're a patron, you saw us go through that process, which you saw that without speaking about it, we got, we were talking, but we got the same order oh, we um, without conferring. So that's how you know the Correct. results are real. 
Uh, well, it would have been real anyway. It would have been real anyway, <laughs> but you know for sure. Yes. That quality seal of approval. Um, all right, so we both have put Turkey C. Oh. In fourth position, Turkey in fourth place. C is the 101 proof. As I would expect. And as should be, maybe. Just well, on price point alone? And on price point alone. And we yeah. did talk about this in Patreon, but you know, you have that in our area about 1999. In some areas, you know, in the 30s. We can't yeah, control that. 36, crazy. But for their flagship, lowest priced, most accessible product, I would be surprised if the higher dollar, more age, age like age yeah. statement products didn't perform better. But it that's would why be we surprising. do it, just in case it does. And also put in the comments, and we said $19.99 our area, if you have it for like $15.99, something like that, what's the lowest? Or is it like $40 and what's, in and your And what's area? the highest? Yeah. I think I've heard 36 before for 101. <gasps> Let us know Carbency. because the discrep discrepancy is one of the craziest things about bourbon. So yeah. let us know down in the comments what's the lowest, highest for Wild Turkey 101. Truly. All right, in third place, we both put Turkey A. Turkey A. And Turkey A is the 101, Whoa! the 101 70th anniversary. The eight year. Eight year. But how are you surprised? Because we have a 10 year in the top two and another one, the Kentucky Spirit, which ranges, what, it eight, ranges. nine ish? Yeah. Around eight, depends. nine ish years. So but, these are all around the same age statement. So why are you surprised? Well, I guess because when you're in a bubble and you're only drinking, and in our case, reviewing the, the 70th, the uh, eight year 101, we're like, this is great. This is great. $53 all day. Yeah, on its own. Yeah, it is yeah. great. I agree. It's a fly fight effect in comparing it to other things. Um, we said I, it was super classic. Yeah. Really enjoyable. Yeah. I think it just came down to But then preference. a lot of people in the comments were like, and this is so normal of, of, of our channel, but why would I when I can XYZ? Why would I when I can Rare Breed? Why would I when I can Russell's Reserve? And well, apparently that might be true for you. Why think, would you? Because we put yeah. Kentucky Spirit and Russell's I, ahead of it. I think most people were saying single barrel Russell's, which is in our area much more expensive than the eight year, but- um, Not that much more though. We've got a 90 year who is either in first or second place. A 90 year? A 90 year, a 90 year, it was dust. A 90 you just proof. drink dust. But proof. I think that goes to show like what Russell's uh, tenure is able to achieve in yeah. terms of just overall quality. Proof isn't everything it's and not. it's in the, well, we don't have pudding, but um, the proof is in the glass ranking. Uh, okay, so we both put Turkey B in second place Ooh, and Turkey D first. in first. So let's find out what's first. Turkey D is? The Russell's tenure. So anybody who's like, I'll just care about proof. Nope, out the window. This one's 11 proof points lower. <laughs> we did say that we thought that it might Man. be just from the tasting. Man. Which means that Kentucky Spirit went in yeah. second place. Now. Wow. That's a single barrel of it's, Kentucky Spirit. <sighs> Depending on your single proof. barrel, it, yeah. could, it, it could vary. Maybe we get another one and oh, it completely. comes in first. We could do this same experiment 10 different times with 10 different uh, Kentucky Spirit 101 proofs and the it, ranking, it could I guarantee you. Oh, it's sometimes change. it would still be the same, but other times it would, it would change. It and could be last, it could be first. That's just knows? the problem with single barrels, but also the blessing of single barrels. I don't know I how guess. to say it. It's, it's a factor. It's a blessing and a curse. It's a factor of single barrels. Sure. Uh, I'm not honestly surprised or unhappy with these results because Russell's Reserve Tenure is readily available. It is more, more affordable, here, high quality, you know? And also the status quo continues, at least in the marketing terms of Wild Turkey, Russell's Reserve is a superior product. And, and in terms of its positioning as a brand within their portfolio. Yeah, yeah. even beating out more expensive uh, you know, Wild Turkey branded things. Now, I don't know if they exactly intended that with the Kentucky Spirit, but it does say Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit. It doesn't say Wild Turkey Russell's Reserve. And again, single barrel, asterisk. Again, it's single barrel, vary. asterisk, sure, 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 sure. Yeah, wow. Eh, now, I don't know if it's wow. I mean, sure, wow. I, I think I think a little wow. Now, a people, little wow. people recently, I don't know if you've seen this there, I've been talking about uh, Russell's Reserve 90 proof because there's been, and we don't, we're not big laser code people but there's like look for this laser code because it has this age of stuff uh, you know mix into it and make sure you get it and da 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 and i'll tell you this particular russell's 90 proof 10 year is one that we bought for 
It's a 2024 bottle, I know that for sure. We bought it for, oh, a drink this or that. So it is that, but it's a, we bought it at least three, four months ago. Okay. So I don't feel like it's, and people it's are, not irrelevant. People, people are gonna put in the comments, what's the laser code? And to be honest with you, I hate that comment because I'm like, now I gotta go get a magnifying glass. <laughs> oh, just get the magnifying glass. Oh, If you to, know it's coming. Yeah, I'll put it, I'll put it. I'll put it in the description. Thank you. Um, the comments, thank you. Yeah, but I don't think it's what everyone has been going crazy about. Mm. But, but who knows? Prove me wrong. All right. Well, uh, that is the episode. That's the flight fight. Um, now, you know, we said we would put our winner up against Rare Breed, which it just, it's like apples and oranges, Ooh. right? They're both fruits. They're both wild turkey products. But... They're, Almost 117 versus 90 proof. Yeah, it's going to be vastly different in terms of proof. We'll do a little preview for Patreon. Uh, and then in 2025, we'll we'll get around to that drink this or that. Yes, based off our of episode calendar episode. is uh, fully booked for the rest of the year. I'm fully booked. Not unfortunately. I mean, no. it's just the way it goes. But yeah, end of the year stuff. There's no flexibility because we're only two people and we can only do so much. <laughs> it's true. But hey, if you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, drink more bourbon. Mm -hmm.